Marion County will enter its next phase of reopening tomorrow. Churches are allowed to host indoor services again at 50% capacity. Social distancing is needed, and everybody is required to wear a mask. Southside Reform Presbyterian Church is going to welcome up to 75 people in each of their three services on Sunday. Since the central function of the church is to worship the Lord and to do that corporately, to do that together as a body of believers, it really makes sense for us to get back together, yes, even with a smaller group. Now, this church is requiring sign-ups for the service that people will attend with seating in different rows each service. Then on Monday, indoor dining, salons, other personal services, gyms, pools, and others will reopen here in Marion County with restrictions. So as we talk about reopening plans tonight, I do want to point out that we saw a lot of new coronavirus cases reported statewide today, 646 to be exact. Now I want to give you a little bit of context. Look at this graph here. You can see how many we actually reported today. It's the most that we've seen since last Wednesday. That's this light blue graph here. Keep in mind, though, we typically see a drop in testing over weekends, and that's especially true over a holiday weekend. I'm Alan Carter, and at just 22 years old, Josh Christian has already had a challenging road. I'm the baby out of six and the only one that was not adopted. Entering the foster care system when he was two, in and out of 18 homes. And it was not easy. It was actually quite tough and many times uh, scary and lonely. But standing here, he literally defies the odds. This year, he'll graduate from college, something less than 4% of people who age out of foster care do. Hard young lives usually lead to harder adult lives. Uh, many of them become homeless. Many, many become involved in the criminal justice system. We already historically have very low rates of employment. Now, Christian is asking state leaders for help. Our communities are suffering right now. A video of voices from the foster care system, whose difficulties compounded by a pandemic. I was forced to move from my university housing back to my foster parents, and they were apprehensive of me staying there because they were concerned I may have had contact with the virus. This caused major unrest in the household. Which I honestly, I can't believe it's been five years to be mm -hmm. quite honest. Kayla Brewer was 15 when she went into foster care, now is getting close to aging out. So as we're entering adulthood, we're still learning, we're still making mistakes. And to just have services like cut off, that really hinders young people from being able to successfully what transition into adulthood. They're hoping for more funding for foster organizations and a moratorium on aging out of the system through the pandemic. Really hear the voices of young people. Christian says he'll be sending the video to the governor's office.